Hello everybody, it's Conti here with another video. How to use the Paste Attributes option in DaVinci Resolve 16.2. I am currently inside the edit window in my DaVinci Resolve interface. Left click once on the tab at the bottom to select this. On my current project timeline, I have two edits. The first media file is a three second video clip featuring Bobby the dog. After the first video clip of Bobby ends at the three second mark, there is a one second void in between the first media edit and the second video file featuring palm trees. The palm trees MP4 media file edit on the timeline here lasts for six seconds. The start point is at the four second mark and the end point of the second edit is at the 10 second mark of my project timeline. If I left click on the second edit on my timeline here featuring the palm trees so that this is outlined in a light red border. In the inspector window in the top right corner we have a set of properties that we can modify to change the state of the video clip that is playing on the project timeline such as zoom settings underneath transform. Like in this example here where I've zoomed in on one of the palm trees on the video file. How am I able to copy attributes such as the zoom modification that I have done on my palm trees video file here and paste them to separate media file edits that I have on my project timeline such as the video clip with Bobby which has a zoom setting of one. How can I update the zoom X and Y properties of my first video file edits here so that they match those from the second file featuring the palm trees, which was two for X and Y. To demonstrate how this is done, I'm first going to reset the zoom changes that I made to the palm trees clip by ensuring that this video clip is selected and underneath inspector in video, I'm going to left click on the circular arrow icon to the right of zoom X and Y. When I left click once, the default values for zoom X and Y return. What I'm going to create is a basic zoom effect on this palm trees edit here, where as the video clip plays, we zoom in to the palm tree in the center of the screen here. With my red playhead positioned at the start of my second media file at the four second mark, Underneath inspector again and video and transform back in the zoom settings I'm going to left click once on the keyframe diamond icon next to zoom X and Y. And now if I drag the red playhead to the final frame at the end of this palm tree video edit here on my timeline. At the 10 second mark. I want the zoom X and Y value to be greater so that a close-up is made of a palm tree in the middle of the screen. Therefore, in order for zoom X and Y to increment as the video clip plays on the timeline, we need to set this last frame up as a keyframe by left-clicking on the diamond icon next to zoom X and Y again, so that this changes to red, and changing X and Y from 1 to 2. We can do this by left clicking inside the value box, holding our mouse button down and dragging this cursor to the right. Or by typing in a value in either X and Y with the chain link icon highlighted in the middle here so that both values update simultaneously. If I double left click in X for example and type in two and press enter, both X and Y have updated. And as we can see here, a zoom effect has been successfully applied to the six second palm trees clip. To save a DaVinci Resolve user the time of going through the inspector window and applying the same transformation settings all over again to a different edit on the timeline, what we are going to do is use the copy and paste features in DaVinci Resolve to apply a similar zoom effect to the first video clip of Bobby. Right click on the video clip that you have already applied inspector modifications to and select copy. An alternative is to left click on the edit and hold in control and press C on your keyboard once the relevant edit is selected. 
Now right click on the media file edit on your timeline that you wish to paste attributes to. Choose paste attributes from the menu that appears. Alternatively, on your keyboard, once you have selected the media file edit, you can hold an Alt and press V on your keyboard to paste attributes. Use Option instead of Alt if you are a Mac user. Since we want to apply a similar zoom effect to the video clip of Bobby, as we created in the Palm Trees video on the current project timeline, we need to ensure that the zoom settings are applied to this particular paste transaction. Since I want both the height and the width of the video clip to alter as the video clip plays, since this means both X and Y, I can left click once in the box next to zoom to ensure that both of these properties are selected simultaneously. Before clicking on apply, there are two options that we can choose from in the top section here underneath keyframes. Bear in mind that we needed to use keyframes to apply the zoom effect to the video edit featuring the palm trees. What do these two options do? Bear in mind also that the clip of Bobby lasts for half the time that the palm trees clip does. The clip of Bobby running for three seconds and the clip of the palm trees running for six seconds. If I left click first of all in maintain timing and then go to left click on apply, placing the red playhead at the start of the clip with Bobby on my timeline here, we can see that a keyframe for zoom in Y has been applied as was done in the palm trees video clip. If I drag the red playhead to the end of this video clip, we can see that the zoom effect is halfway between one and two, which was the final value that we added to the palm trees video clip at the end of the current project timeline. This illustrates how the maintain timing option in your paste attributes window will paste keyframes in the exact timing locations in other media files as they were in the original file that you copied them from in your DaVinci Resolve project timeline. Since the video clip of Bobby the dog lasts only three seconds, the whole zoom effect cannot be applied, and so therefore it is only half complete at 1.5. What if we want the zoom effect to reach two by the end of the three second mark? If I hold in Control and press Z on my keyboard to undo the changes that I made with the recent paste attributes action, use Command instead of Control if you are a Mac user. I am going to right click on the first edit with Bobby once again. With the attribute still copied from the palm trees clip, I'm going to go back to paste attributes. This time with the zoom settings selected, I'm going to change the keyframes option from maintain timing to stretch to fit. Left click once in the box here. Go to left click once on apply. Note how the keyframe at the beginning of the clip with Bobby is set at one and the final frame at the three second mark is two. This illustrates how this stretch to fit option can adapt depending on the size of the edit that you are applying the paste attributes option to. How can real time effects and ripple sequence be utilized in the paste attributes window also? To demonstrate how these tools work, we are going to do some manipulation of the edits currently on the timeline. What I want to do is expand the palm trees clip by 50% so that it expands from the 10 second mark where its original edit ends on my timeline to the 13 second mark where I have positioned the red playhead. If I right click on the edit with the palm trees and go to retime controls, hold control and press R as a keyboard shortcut or use command instead of control if you are a Mac user. Place your mouse cursor just above the line of blue arrows pointing to the right so that your cursor changes into a double-headed arrow in a horizontal format. With the mouse cursor to the right of this particular edit here, I'm going to left click, hold the mouse button down and drag my mouse cursor to the right towards the red line below my playhead. Note how when we stretch this video edit, the arrows change from blue to yellow to indicate that the speed of the video clip has changed. 
Letting go of the left mouse button will resize the edit. Since the video edit of the palm trees has been stretched further across the timeline in my project here, this will mean that the video clip will play slower. How could I apply a similar speed to Bobby's video clip? Having left click on this edit of the palm trees already, I'm going to hold in control and press C on my keyboard to copy. I will now left click on the video edit with Bobby so that this is highlighted and hold in Alt and press V on my keyboard to paste a tribute. I can go straight down to Retime Effects. I'm going to left click on this box here first of all and left click on Apply. Note how the video edit of Bobby remains at three seconds on this project timeline here. However, not all visual content is shown because the edit stops at three seconds and is not able to project all frames from this particular media file to its viewer. Therefore, how can we increase the edit size so that the whole video clip can be shown at a slower pace than its original state? If I hold in control and press Z on my keyboard to undo, this time after pressing Alt and V on my keyboard to paste the tributes to the first edit with Bobby, I'm going to left click in ripple sequence before left clicking on apply. We can now see that the edit of Bobby has increased by roughly 50%. On the duration reader here, bear in mind that the first set of numbers to the right represent the frame number within a second, which is represented by the next two digits along. Each second in this particular video clip with Bobby comprises of 30 frames. As we can see in this demonstration here, when we go from frame 29 in the third second onto the new fourth second. Note how with the ripple sequence applied, there is still a one second gap between the video clip of Bobby and the video clip of the palm trees. The video with Bobby ended at four seconds and 17 frames and the palm trees video begins at five seconds and 17 frames. This illustrates how a ripple sequence can have an effect on other edits on the timeline, which you are not editing directly in terms of their positioning. Returning to the paste attributes window now, underneath video tributes, composition mode refers to the property in the composite mode box underneath composite, under video in inspector. Opacity refers to the second option underneath composite, which I have indicated using the keyframe icon on the right here. Any modifications made to the opacity of one particular video edit, which are copied, will then be pasted using this option in the paste attributes window. Scrolling down the video segments in the inspector window, we come to transform where the position, pitch, anchor point, rotation angle, and yaw can all be copied and pasted to other video edits. Your position of X and Y refers to the video edits placement on screen. The anchor point refers to the position of rotation, which can be adjusted using the rotation angle property above. Pitch refers to rotations made using the video clips horizontal axis and the YAO refers to rotations made to a video's vertical axis. Zoom properties, as we covered early on in the tutorial, are found at the top of Transform. Should you be wanting to paste only just the width or the height in any particular scenario, you can left click in one box and leave another blank. Scrolling down the video segments once more underneath Inspector, if we were to trim segments of the video clip on its outside, such as the top of the video clip or the bottom, the same settings from one video edit can be copied and pasted using these options here in the middle of video attributes. Should you wish to select all of them, simply left click in crop or left click in crop again to deselect these. Like with zoom, you can left click in single boxes or more depending on what you want to modify in your new paste transaction like this example here where I've left click in left and bottom. Going back to transform now in our inspector window for video, we can also paste the vertical and horizontal flip settings applied at the bottom of this particular transform setting here. Again, only tick one box if you wish to paste just one attribute from this section here. And moving further down the video segments to retime and scaling, 
The first two options in this particular section, Retime Process and Motion Estimation, can be pasted into other media files on your timeline using these next two options here. Choose both or tick in one box at a time before choosing Apply. Any plugins that you have downloaded from the internet and applied to edits in your DaVinci Resolve project can also be pasted to other edits using these next two options, one for your video and the second for your audio. Any adjustments made to the color of your particular edit using the color tab at the bottom of your DaVinci Resolve interface can also be copied and pasted. If I left click to open up the color options, go to color wheels, and increase the orange effect which is applied to the palm trees video on my timeline by left clicking on the circle underneath offset and dragging the circle to the top left corner to the orange shade in the rainbow wheel. I now have an orange effect applied to the palm trees video. If I hold in control and press C with the palm trees edit selected. Now left click on the edit with Bobby and hold in Alt and press V, I can now paste a color correction, like so. Going back to the Paste Attributes window once again, underneath Audio Attributes this time, we can copy and paste volume effects that were made in one particular edit to a different edit on your timeline. And scrolling further down the audio options here, we can find the Clip Equalizer section where we can make adjustments to the tone of the audio segment of your media file on your timeline. These can be copied and pasted also using the third option underneath audio attributes in your paste attributes window. Tick the relevant box and left click on apply to complete the paste attribute transaction. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.